All right, guys, Coinbase has changed its staking policy. And you guys need to be aware of this change of staking policy. It's actually for the better. Because because of regulatory changes, Coinbase is no longer able to offer uh, its own staking service. And in fact, they have announced that they will indeed be moving to on-chain staking, which means, yes, you should have control of your own coins. And this is for Tezos, Cosmos, Solana, and Cardano. Algorand staking is going to be stopped. Um, they said this was because of complaints with user experience. And of course, they haven't really done anything with Ethereum staking because Ethereum currently does not actually support withdrawals because the Shanghai update has not come. That should come soon, and eventually they might just hook you up with Ethereum pools. Why they are doing this, they didn't say, but I'm almost sure, almost absolutely certain it had to do with... Um, it, ha it actually has to do with regulations because Coinbase probably did not want to be um, left out of the staking pie because if they just hook you with up with the on-chain staking pools, they're not getting any of the pie. But I think they're doing this for the convenience of the customers because they want to retain their customers. So once again, these policies apply for uh, four of the five assets, Tezos, Cosmos, um, Solana, and Cardano. Uh, for Algorand, they'll stop their staking in Algorand soon. And basically, um, they're kind of re-examining that. So the thing is, um, they, they'll stop Algorand on March 29th, but they will actually um, stop staking and unstaking beginning March 24th and resume those on 29th for all the other assets. And what they're going to be doing is that the fir they're, they're going to have a new approach and uh, they'll, people will earn rewards directly from the protocol and not Coinbase. The firm says that its only role will be to connect customers to validators on the relevant blockchain. So basically, yeah, Coinbase will no, no longer be holding your coins at stake. You will be holding your coins. All they're really going to be doing is connecting to their protocol. It will be on-chain staking, which is the superior way of staking anyways. And you know, like... I actually think this is one good result of the SEC Wells notice. We, I hate the fact that they're trying to attack crypto altogether, but they are pushing people to self-custody on on-chain staking. I think this is an unintended result for them. They're trying to push people out of crypto and into the banking system, but it's not really working the way they actually intended, unless Gary Gensler is a secret agent for crypto, and he's just pushing people towards uh, self-custody on on-chain staking so he can get them away from the banks and they won't have any control over them. But... I hardly think that's uh, really the case. So I think they're just having some unintended consequences and like companies are basically giving the SEC and these regulators the middle finger by moving everyone on chain so they're not liable and they can't really ban on-chain activities like this. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.